Hey everyone, what's up? Chad Wesley Smith here. Another uh, installment of our Week in Review series. This is going to review the second to last overloading training week for uh, our ladies as they prepare for USAPL Raw Nationals. And by overloading, I mean the principle of overload, which you can learn more about in our Scientific Principles of Strength Training video series or the book, Scientific Principles of Strength Training. But to sum it up really quickly, I mean training that is hard enough to drive adaptation to stimulate the changes that we are looking for. And in this, the peaking phase, that is technical prowess and the, the neural qualities of the one rep max. So hard training before we get to the taper and that the training must become progressively more challenging over time. So, you know, if you've been following along all these weeks, you'll see that there's a couple different styles of, of periodization going on and some, some differences between each of the women in their training plan with Kristen and Marissa being the most highly qualified and the most similar in their structure. Uh, then Joanne, a little bit less qualified, still you know, Masters World Team last year, uh, but 48 years old, so some changes for her with a, a long training history and a bit more injuries accumulated over time. And then finally for uh, Maddie Forberg, really only two years of hard training, so her training looks a little bit different as well. The main way that those are manifesting themselves is that for Kristen and Marissa, because their weights are the most challenging, the most uh, taxing, especially from a neural standpoint, simply because they are the heaviest, uh, they are training a little bit less frequently now, four training days per week, and they they work through the week uh, for, the, for the squat, squatting three times a week, with Monday being more of a medium day, Wednesday being pretty light, Friday being the heaviest day. Uh, some, still some changes for them in, in there between the two of them, because Kristen pulls sumo compared to Marissa pulling conventional, as well as some different stuff we did in the bench press for Kristen because she had run into some uh, some adaptive resistance in her bench technique going into her last meet. So she's she's pretty pretty new right now back into competition benching. This is only her second week of, of competition benching, uh, but because the weights in the bench aren't that heavy, you can peak the bait the bench later uh, and closer to the meet, particularly for a female. So, you know, take those things into account as, as you watch their, watch their training. Uh, again, we're excited about the progress as, as they move towards nationals. Joanne and Maddie will be in the 57 kilo class. Marissa, the three-time defending champion in the 52s. And Kristen will be competing at her first nationals as a 72 kilo lifter after taking the third last year in the 63s. So check out the training. Enjoy if you're interested in online coaching. Check out juggernautcoaching.com if you got questions. Ask them in the comments. All right, so as we jump into this week's training, starting off with Monday, uh, if you'll remember in last week's video, Marissa had a, a heavy deadlift up to 185 kilos. So because of the large neural fatigue that that'll generate, uh, this is a bit of an easier week for her in the deadlift. Uh, so here she's performing halting deadlifts, so pull into the bottom of the knee, then a full rep, so it's like a one and a half rep, and that's just to improve her start position or tension in the start. This is, a, again, her sort of moderate day in the squat, moderate day on Monday, light day on Wednesdays, heavy days on Fridays for her. Um, you know, what we've really been looking at for, for Marissa is to make sure she's pushing into her knees, uh, so allowing her knees to travel forward uh, to effectively use her quads, and then looking for good tempo in the squat, so a confident, quick descent. Here's 142 and a half kilos for Maddie. Uh, Maddie's got a similar, uh, a little bit different structure in Marissa than the squat right now. Just a lighter day on Monday, heavier day on Friday with some belt squats in between, but her squat continues to progress well, so excited for uh, PRs for her there. Um, this is the lighter day of the week for Joanne. Um, you know, again, we're, Joanne's main focus is, is control into the hole, uh, not relying too much on rebound. Uh, so she can, she can effectively push through those sticking points, uh, as she gets about two, three inches above parallel. Uh, Monday is, is sort of a, is their moderate bench day for Marissa. So she did a single before that at like 92 and a half kilos, then a couple triples uh, back down back down sets just to keep some volume in, particularly for female lifters, less experienced male lifters, lighter weight class male lifters. They're going to have to keep volume in the bench in during the peak. Otherwise, they're going to get detrained. Another bench PR for Maddie. Uh, I'll have to go through and count up how many bench PRs she's made in this whole training cycle. That was 95 kilos. Uh, when she started working with me, 
uh, 10-ish weeks ago, her best bench was 82 and a half. Uh, so 12 and a half kilos on the bench. Pretty excited about that. Here's a strong bench at, uh, at 80 kilos for Joanne. She did a really good job of keeping her chest high uh, with the bar on her chest and, and a great tension in her back and really throughout her whole body there. Moving on to Wednesday. Uh, this is a pretty heavy pulling day for, for Joanne. Uh, just allowing her to feel you know, comfortable with these, these heavy weights. Uh, so pulling off of blocks, which essentially almost all sumo deadlifters will feel stronger with the bar elevated. That's not necessarily the case for conventional deadlifters. So she did 155. Here's 165. And then finally a PR for her at 175 kilos. This first rep, she kind of rushes the start and doesn't have the same kind of tension in it that she did in the, in the lighter weights. Um, but cleans it up here in the second, really, really strong second rep. Looked like she could have gone on for three, maybe four, uh, reps if she needed to. She did end up tweaking her back a little bit later in that, that workout. Um, so we had to modify things later in the week for her. Again, very strong 95 for Marissa. This hundred, you can see it shift towards her feet a little bit. I just kind of pushed it back over her face to help her, uh, help her finish it. Not really lifting up on it, just sort of getting it back in the groove. Uh, then we gave Marissa some shortened range of motion work here, 105 kilos. She's benching off like a yoga mat there just to, to let her feel the heavy weight. You know, 100 kilos is, is probably our number at the meet. That's a, a number certainly been in her mind for a long time uh, and handled the 105 really well. Very happy with how her squats were looking this day. She's doing a, a better job there of, of, you know, hips and knees working together to initiate the squat and a good tempo. Here's a conventional deadlift PR for Maddie at 150 kilos. And here's a couple of her back down sets. And as we, you'll see two back down sets here and it's really gonna be the first rep of the second set is gonna be exactly what we're looking for. And it's for her to initiate her hips to the lockout very early. You know, that, that set looked pretty good. Um, but a lot of times she'll, she'll wait until the bar is a bit too high on her thigh to, to really initiate the lockout, and that kind of causes the bar to get caught up on her thigh uh, and her to lean back in the finish rather than to bring her hips to meet the bar at lockout. But she's making good progress there really all around. As I mentioned uh, in the intro, Kristen, this is really only Kristen's second week back uh, in the competition bench pressing, so solid 105 for her there. And we're sort of looking for her bench to peak late, uh, which it can uh, for the female lifter just because or, or anyone who's not benching huge, huge weights, because making you know jumps up from 100 to maybe 107 or 110 kilos doesn't take that many workouts to, to get up there. Uh, Maddie and Joanne are the only ones with Thursday workouts. That's Maddie's lightest bench workout of the week, uh, lightest bench workout for both of them. So she still goes to a single, uh, but 89 kilos. So she had 95 on Tuesday, 89 on Thursday and then I think 92 and a half or 93 and a half on Saturday. So here's Marissa's Friday squat workout or heaviest squat workout of the week. She ended up doing two singles at 145 kilos, which is the heaviest she's gone this training cycle. Um, and earlier when we tried to make some technical changes in her squat, it, she was just having a tough time being confident at the heaviest weights. So what we really tried to do was give her as many opportunities to have good successful squats as possible. So I mean, good quality squats, um, so we're doing kind of more multiple singles at a little bit lower weight than she's capable of just to build the confidence up. There's a squat PR for Maddie, 147.5 kilos, moved very easily, stayed, kept her weight on her forefoot well, uh, so her knees stay forward and she can use, uh, her very, her body, which is, is built very well for the squat most effectively, uh, particularly with her short legs. Here's another single uh, in the in the bench for Maddie, just giving her practice and a lot of confidence. The weights are so much heavier than what what she had done before. I just wanted to give her more opportunities to, to feel confident with those. Here's uh, Joanne's moderate bench day for the week. Uh, there's little one pound plates on there as well. So that's 85 kilos, 187 pounds. Uh, letting her just handle it off the board so she can feel it in her hands. Look like she could have done three, maybe four reps with that. And she should be definitely good for it off the chest. Uh, when the time comes. Here's a little bit of Marissa's accessory work. I know we don't show a ton of that to, to all of you. We'll try and do a better job of that going forward. Uh, but that's another hard week of training. Excited for the progress. 
All right, thank you very much for watching uh, that week in review series. You know, excited about the work that, that these women are doing. Great block pulls for Joanne in there, several PRs uh, continuing for, for Maddie. You know, we're having to work around a little bit of this, this glute issue with Kristen, and then it seems as if Marissa, particularly in the squat, is, is really starting to click these last couple weeks as we head into nationals. So if you're there at USAPL Raw Nationals, come up, say hi, um, you know, take a picture. We love doing all that stuff. If you're interested in online coaching, juggernautcoaching.com is the place for all of that. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with a friend. Thanks for watching.